Graphing, perpendicular and parallel lines. If you did our investigation earlier, you would have discovered that parallel lines, or lines that never cross, have the same slope. An example here is these two lines that will continue on forever, never crossing, like rain, railroad tracks. Perpendicular lines from our investigation are lines that meet at right angles, or 90 degrees, and what we notice about their slopes is that they are reciprocal, which means that the two numbers multiply to equal one. So if the original slope was two over three, its reciprocal would be flipped or three over two. Perpendicular lines must also be opposite, which means that the signs are different. So if one slope is negative, the other has to be positive. Example one, a line passes through points M and N, find the slope of the line that is parallel and perpendicular to this line. Now, in order to do this, I need to know the slope of the original line. So that would be my first step. Since I'm given coordinates, I'm gonna use my coordinate formula. Next, I am going to try and figure out which is gonna be my Y1 and which is gonna be my Y2. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but whatever is your Y1, the matching number has to be the X one. So I've decided that I'm gonna use M as my starting point or my starting coordinate. So I'm going to take three, which is my Y1, and subtract my Y2, which is negative one. I need to take my matching X values and subtract them. So my matching X value to three was two. So that's gonna be two subtract negative four. At this point, three minus minus one, same thing as three plus one, is four. Two minus minus six, four, is six. At this point, I ask myself, can I reduce the fraction? And the answer is yes. So I can divide both top and bottom by two, giving me two over three. I'm now able to answer my questions. What is the slope of the line parallel to this one? Well. If my original slope is two over three, then its parallel slope must also be two over three. Note the two vertical lines, that is the symbol we use to represent parallel. How about perpendicular? Well, my original slope is two over three. My perpendicular line must be reciprocal, so that's three over two, but also opposite. Since my original slope is positive, that means that my new slope must be negative, so that's negative three over two. Example two, are the two lines parallel? Justify your answer. Well, here's what we know. Parallel lines have the same slope. So in order to answer this question, we must find the slope of both lines. However, because we are given a diagram, we can use the simpler formula of rise over run and then determine if the slopes are the same. So let's start with the upper line. I'm gonna call that line one. I need to find my slope, so I need to know my rise and my run. To go from my lower point to my upper point, I am gonna go up five. To go from my lower point to my upper point, I'm gonna go over in the right, which is positive nine. So, if M is rise over run, my rise is five, my run is nine. That's the slope of line number one. I'm now gonna do line two, which is the lower line. So again, just like before, I need to know my rise. To go from my lower point to my higher point, I'm gonna go up four. To go from my lower point to my upper point, I'm going over or my run is seven. So for line two, I'm still gonna use rise over run. My rise would be four, my run would be seven. Now, because these have different denominators, it's quite difficult to figure out if they are the same slope or not. We could create equivalent fractions or we could convert this into decimals. So five divided by nine is 0.555. 4 divided by 7 is 0 
Now, these are very close to each other. And that's probably why when we look at this, we really can't tell if they're parallel or not. However, there is a difference and it's not caused by rounding. Therefore, these are not parallel lines because they don't have the same slope. Example three. Now this is a little more difficult because it requires a tad bit more interpretation. It tells us that two lines are on the page. The first one passes through points A, B. The second one passes through C, D. Are the two lines perpendicular, parallel, or neither? Show how you know. Well, in order to determine this, we need to find the slopes of the two lines. If the slopes are the same, we know that they are parallel. If the slopes are opposite and reciprocal, then we know that the two lines are perpendicular. However, if the slopes are neither, then we know that they, yeah, the two lines are neither. So, first thing I'm going to do is calculate the slope of the first line, which is points AB. Now, in order to do this, I must figure out which formula to use. Since I don't have a diagram, I can't use rise over run, I'm going to have to use the coordinate formula. Now, you may see this in other textbooks as written slightly differently, like y1 minus y0 or y2 minus y1. It means the same thing. All we're saying is we are subtracting one y value from the other. So, first thing, I'm going to identify point A as my x1, y1. So my y1 minus my y2 is going to be 2 is my y1, 10 is my y2. So I'm going to subtract those, giving me 2 minus 10. My matching x values are going to be negative 7 and negative 2. So that's going to be 7 subtract negative 2. I'm now going to work this out. 2 minus 10 is negative 8. Negative 7 minus negative 2 is the same thing as negative 7 plus 2, which gives me negative 5. Although I can't simplify the numbers, I can simplify the signs. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So there's the slope of line AB. I'm now going to do my second line, or line CD. So again, it's a coordinate. I use the coordinate formula. Yes, you should be writing out this formula every time you do a calculation. Now, I need to know what I'm going to use as my x1, y1. I've decided I'm going to use point C. Therefore, my y1 minus y2 is going to be negative 4 minus 1. My x1 minus x2 is going to be negative 3 minus 5. At this point, I'm going to do my calculation. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Again, I've got a negative divided by a negative, which I can clean up or simplify by getting rid of the negatives. So my slope is 5 over 8. I now have enough information to answer the question. So what is the question? Are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, the slopes are not the same, therefore it is not parallel. Are the slopes perpendicular? Well, they're reciprocal, but they're not opposite, which means they are not perpendicular, meaning that my answer is neither because the slopes are reciprocal, but not opposite. My final example is a bit more of a challenging one. You're gonna to have to pull in information from past years. The question is, we are told that a paragram, parallelogram has the following vertices, A, B, C, D. A vertice is a corner or a vertex. A, is the parallelogram a rectangle? Justify your answer mathematically. And B, graph the shape using the vertices. Well, first, what do we know about a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a four-sided shape which has parallel sides and equal opposite side lengths. A rectangle is actually a type of parallelogram, but it's a special type of parallelogram that has four right angles. 
So in order to prove that this is a rectangle, I must prove that the angles are right angles or they meet at 90 degrees. So what do we know about right angles? They are perpendicular to each other. So I have to prove that the corners are perpendicular. To do this, I need to find the slopes of the lines and determine if they are reciprocal and opposite. So I normally would just start with line AB, but in order for me to get a full visual of this, I'm gonna do B first. Now, here's the thing. I can do B first, but I can't use any of the information I, I get from B to prove A. So let's start with point A, negative four, two. I'm gonna go four over in the negative direction, and then I'm gonna go up two. Point B, four, four. That means I'm gonna go four over in the positive direction from zero, zero, and four up. I draw my line. Point C, five, zero. From zero, zero, I'm gonna go over five, and I do not go up any. I draw my line. Point D, negative three, negative two. That means I'm gonna go over three in the negative direction or towards the left and down two. I draw my line from CD. Now, as this is a rectangle, I know that there's gotta be a line that joins A and D. So, it looks like a rectangle, but I'm not absolutely certain. So I'm gonna to have to prove this by finding the slopes of at least two of the lines that meet at a vertex. So I've decided that I'm gonna do AB and BC. So let's start with AB. Since my original question, it gives me coordinates, I must use the coordinate formula. At this point, I've got to identify my X1, Y1, and I've decided that I'm gonna go with negative four, two as my X1, Y1. Therefore, Y1 minus Y2 is gonna be two minus four. X1 minus X2 is gonna be the matching X values, which is gonna be negative four minus four. At this point, I'm gonna do my calculation. Two minus four is negative two. Negative four minus four is negative eight. I can clean this up or simplify it by dividing both by two and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Therefore, my, the slope of this line is one over four. I'm now gonna do B or line BC. Again, I'm given coordinates, so I'm gonna use my coordinate formula. Now, what is gonna be my X1, Y1? I've decided that four, four is gonna be my X1, Y1. Therefore, my Y1 minus Y2 is gonna be four, subtract zero. My X1 minus X2 is gonna be four, subtract five. So, Let's do my calculation. Four minus zero is four. Four minus five is negative one. So that is my final slope. Now, with many other questions, we would have to do the calculations for all lines, but here's the thing. A parallel, we are told that this is a parallelogram, which means that if one of the vertexes is a right angle, then all of them must be a right angle. So we only need to prove one vertex. So when we look at these slopes, are they perpendicular? Are they reciprocal? One over four, four over one, yes. Are they opposite? Slope for line AB is positive, the slope for BC is negative, therefore, yes, they are. If that's the case, this is a rectangle because the slopes of the lines at a point are both reciprocal and opposite, and therefore, meet at right angles.